Hello and welcome to Enforce Tech TV, your digital format of Enforce Tech 2024. We're at the booth of Ferkinghoff and with me is Steven from Primary Arms. Hi, how are you doing? Hey, doing well, doing well, appreciate so, it. How do you like the fair so far? It's great, we've had a lot of great people come by, a lot of really interesting customers talking to. Enforce Tech's always been kind of that unique niche in Europe that just makes it fun to do trade shows. So, Very nice, so what project did you bring us? This is one of our brand new releases for this year. It's our Discovery 2024 new product. Uh, it is our MD21. So mm -hmm. it's a red dot and we've actually done four of them. So we have the SLX line and the GLX line. We've got two different reticles available in both lines. This one, I think this one's my favorite. It's our GLX ACSS variant. Mm -hmm. So it's got, of course, our ACSS reticle in there. It's the CQB reticle that people kind of know about from the MD25. But this one's unique because you can actually configure it with the parts that you want and leave out the parts that you don't. So you can push the button and it'll actually cycle through. So if you want just a Chevron, you can have that. Chevron VDC, Chevron and Horseshoe, or everything on all together. So it's as either simple or as informative as you want the reticle to be, uh, which is really unique when it comes to optics like this. It really doesn't exist anywhere else in the marketplace. Okay, so you're talking about a BDC reticle. For what is it calibrated? So it's 556, like, um, M855 ball, okay. uh, it, it gets you all the way out to 600. It's very, very close, especially at a 1X system. It's uh, In red dots, you just don't see that. It doesn't okay. exist. Yeah. Um, the thing that makes the GLX stand out over the SLX is the solar fail safe. So like a lot of companies that are out there, they have solar panels on their mm -hmm. dots and it acts as kind of a backup to the battery. This one, it's backwards, it's the other way around. So the solar panel's actually running it 90% of the time, mm -hmm. even inside with just ambient light indoors, the solar panel will run the dot and the battery just sits there as kind of a backup in case you're in complete darkness, like inside a house, no lights on, nighttime, things like that. Um, but otherwise, it's just the solar panel running it. So battery life on this thing's like almost infinite. As long as you've got cool. daylight around, you've got a dot to look at. All right. So um, how many levels of illumination do you have in that scope? It's got 12 uh, mm -hmm. with two night vision. So mm -hmm. you have low night vision and high night vision. Um, so low night vision would be like cloud cover at night running you know, regular analog type nods. Mm -hmm. High night vision would be a kind of urban area. So you have some light pollution around coming from street lights and things like that. And actually the lowest setting works really well in like an urban environment where you have a lot of light pollution, you can run that kind of one visible level mm -hmm. and you can still run your nods, not bloom out and still have everything kind of mashed. So it's a very adaptive illumination system. And then of course, all the way up to the top is like super daylight bright. We're, we're out of Texas, so like Texas, middle of summer, middle of the day, shooting into like a sandy backdrop, you're still gonna be able to pull that reticle out from your background. Perfect. Yeah. Alrighty. So, um, that's it for primary arms for the new MD site. Um, we'll proceed forward to the Mossberg booth and tell you something about the new shotguns. So we finally arrived at the Mossberg booth. With me is Jeremy. Jeremy, hi, nice to meet you. Good to meet you. So you got a nice little shotgun with us. Um, all black, just give us the specs on the 940 Pro. Here we go, this is the 940 Pro Tactical. This is the, uh, the latest iteration of our semi-automatic fighting shotgun. This gun is designed to be a, uh, a fighting shotgun, self-defense shotgun, military police, mm -hmm. in, along those lines. We have seven plus one. We have an improved gas system inside. So our older 930 needed to be maintained at about five or 600 rounds. Mm -hmm. This one will go about 1,500 to 2,000 rounds between cleaning, and for a semi-automatic shotgun, that's, that's that's a lot of rounds. So a lot of shot to put down range. It is, yeah. and we're we're uh, we're real proud of that gas system. It's a flat, fast shooting gun. Jerry Michalek, our pro shooter, mm -hmm. he sets a lot of records with this gun. Uh, it's 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 that fast. <clears throat> Some of the other things we've done is we've taken a lot of material out of the bottom of the gun here mm -hmm. so that loading it is much easier. And I know you have experience with shotguns because we were talking earlier and, you know, with some of our competitors' guns, it's easy to get your thumb caught yeah, when you're loading. Hurts a lot. It pinches. Yeah. It, it, it can tear fingernails off. Yep. This one, that won't happen. We've made this longer. We've made it stronger. And you can see right there that clearance mm -hmm. just doesn't allow your thumb to get pinched. So loading it, much easier, much faster. One of the other strengths of our system is that 
uh, again, unlike some of our competitors, we don't require a cartridge drop, mm -hmm. meaning that to load this gun, you simply put them in the magazine tube, and then when it's time to load, charge it, and you're ready to go. There's no extra step. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to needing to deploy the shotgun quickly, we've eliminated a step, and we've made it easier for the operator to take this gun and bring it into action. So it's more fail safe. So let's talk about police officer has the, the shotgun in his car, um, has the tube full of ammunition, but um, no round in the chamber. Right. He could just leave his car, wreck it, and, and ready to go. ready for action. Yep, there's no third step. Yeah. Which, okay. it, which is nice. Yeah, it saves um, a lot of time and makes handling safer, I think. Well, it, you know, it saves time and it, and it also makes it so that we're not quite, you know, we're only humans, right? Yeah. And when we start adding in extra steps to yeah. do things, it can lead to mistakes. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure it's as simple and streamlined as possible for the operator in the field. Um, you know, and talking about safety, we were speaking about this earlier, this does have our ambidextrous safety, which is nice because it allows you to put the weapon on or off safe and keep your finger straight along the trigger yes. guard where you're not having to get close to the trigger. So it's a, nat a natural body position a more natural. to have the thumb on the system or on the tang. Yes, and it's yeah. also good for a visual indicator. Mm -hmm. I can look down and see, oh, my weapon's not on safe. I don't have to roll it or do anything. Mm -hmm. It's just right here. Okay. Uh, and as we were talking about earlier, it's completely ambidextrous, which is nice. So yeah. right-handed, left-handed, it doesn't matter. The stock is completely adjustable in this version, meaning that it can, uh, it can go shorter, it can go longer. Mm -hmm. We can add shims and spacers, but it's also adjustable for cast and cant. So we can change the stock like this mm -hmm. or like this. So you can really get the gun fitted to the shooter. Yeah. So for people like us, we're, we're not super tall. It, it is, it's difficult for us to use a shotgun like that. Yeah. Because it puts us out at an awkward angle. Yeah. So it's as bad for everyone. Yeah. yeah. It's bad for a right-handed shooter, it's bad for a left-handed shooter. And so now you can like custom fit yeah. the, the stock to your cheek weld or to the size from yes. your shoulder to your, to and your cheek And the cheek bone. weld is important with shotguns yeah. because if you, if you have too much space, the gun is going to come up and, and recoil and hit you. So to shoot a shotgun properly, you need to get down on the gun. Yeah. And that's why we designed the optic cut the way we did here. So mm -hmm. you can see that we've removed a lot of material from the receiver and it allows this electro optic to sit deep into the receiver so that I don't have to have a, an artificial cheek weld. I can have a natural cheek weld yeah. so that all the things that I've learned with an iron sided gun transition over easily to this gun. You Perfect. know, because when you start putting optics on top of rails, on top of shotguns, pretty soon you can get, you know, a very high. You can come up high off that. Line over bore axis. Yeah, yeah, where you're having to shoot like this. And with an AR, that's not a problem. But with a 12 gauge shotgun, yeah, that's a problem. Especially with like law enforcement, double out, buckshot. Yeah. It kicks you really hard on your cheekbone. Right, or slugs. So, yeah, so yeah. you don't want to have that, I no, think. No, we want to mitigate that as much as we can. We want to design those things out of the gun as much as we can to make it easier for the operator to use and deploy. Uh, a couple other things. Um, we do have the ability to mount uh, sling swivels up front, mm -hmm. lights, lasers, this is M-lock slots, um, and fiber optic front sight, mm -hmm. which when, when utilizing this particular electro optic, the, uh, the little notch in the rear will actually line up with that, and it'll actually get you out onto target at about 25 yards. So, so it's even it's more a, fail safe. Yeah, it's just a yeah. secondary, a redundant system. Yeah. It's, it's good to have a little backup to your backup. Uh, and this one is also set up uh, for choke tubes. Mm -hmm. So you can dial it in for whatever works best for your particular load. You know, different agencies run different loads and uh, we want to make sure that they're able to kind of tailor the, the, their pattern size to, to what they want. We really want to give the operator what they want. Yeah. So you would like to have another choke for a CQB environment than sure. for Look something know. a little more yeah. open as, as to yeah. maybe if you're in a more rural area where you think there might be a little more distance, mm -hmm. then you'd want a little more constriction to kind of keep that shot together a little bit longer. All right. Um, yeah, and, and so there it is, the 940 Tactical, uh, our latest entry. And 
one of my favorite guns to shoot. It looks really nice. I think it works really nice because it's a really proven system. Thanks a lot, Jeremy, Absolutely. for having us. Thank you. So, so that's it from um, the Ferkinghof booth. Um, we'll see you at the next one and we're looking forward to it. Bye-bye. Thank you.